feel cause I'm about to go nuts And I love how I feel We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Love you, team. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultimeek. Ultimeek.net. Help us call Electric, become a member. All right. A little something special for the WGGGGMBCC. It's a lyrical sculpture in the sand that I carve. This is Flash on the mic, now on the Algarve. 
From 40 to 60, we are on the attack. If I can just get some vitamin I from my back. Foot on the line, yeah, I'm ready to go. Or did I just pull a muscle? Hold on for a moment. Play it cool. Just act like I'm young. Got flicks on my wrist and lyrics on my tongue. 20 more, 10 more years left to go. Tricks from the past and a buttery fly. The spirits are rising like a disc on the breeze. Going miles out of bounds to the Portuguese seas. I played a point, yeah, I need a sub. And a good long soak in an XL tub. Don't need to run anymore. I'm one of 14 handlers. Happy Gilmore this disc like we're all Adam Sandler. I'm slow off the start. I like to call it brisk. The sunshine glints on my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. We got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Alright, let's finish this off. My six foot two still works in the bar. I can see from miles. Got drinks on my radar. Port a mile party is the place we flee for the friends we see and these great memories. Yeah, I feel the spirit as I pull every sinew. Shatter my knees, yet we're gonna continue. Take this hand, better yet carry me. From the beach to the bar, better yet to the sea. I'm slow off the start. I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got none of the pivots, but all of the throws. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships, where it is finals day. We will crown the medalists this afternoon, but we've got some semi-finals to play out this morning. We're looking towards the bottom end of the bracket here. We've got best before from Canada, and the first time this weekend, we're seeing Switzerland's mountain beaches. Yeah, not that we've uh, changed our commentary schedule to feature the Swiss, but we've definitely changed our schedule to make sure we can bring you some hot, steamy mountain beaches access here this early morning. Yeah, this means we've now successfully got every team on stream, which is one of the always one of the main goals to get ticked off nice and early. Benji Reese, and you have already heard her dulcet tones this morning, Hannah Pendlebury. Yeah, we're sounding a, 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 a touch hoarse this morning, but thankfully we narrowly avoided the volunteer karaoke party last night that went on to the wee hours until 2 a.m., Benji, keeping us all up. So uh, glad to see our staff and volunteers having a great time here, making sure they're making the most of this party atmosphere at this World Great Grandmasters Beach Championships. Yeah, they're representing well, are the volunteers, and they were doing a good job last weekend at EBUCC as well, and continuing that excellent work here uh, on the beach for the second uh, the second leg of this double header. I realize that I've mixed up body parts there, but it's fine. It's it works. Morning. It happens, we'll go with it. Best Before and Mountain Beach is two teams without a win between them so far. Best Before came mighty close in their game we streamed yesterday afternoon, going down in sudden death to the Tragic Hips 10-9. Mountain Beaches, they've had some nice moments, but maybe haven't been able to quite put it together for a full game as of yet. Well, they do have a slightly smaller roster compared to some of the teams out here. I think they've got probably just over the 14, 13 mark. And it's, of course, these roster caps, minimum 10, maximum 20. In contrast to the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships, that senior level where the maximum roster was 16 to try and keep athlete numbers here in the Pride Rush sort of more manageable. But of course, it's all about managing those legs. Mountain Beaches, many more personnel amongst them. But we'd love to see them out here coming out on defense. So... Best before, trying to get this offense to work. Terrace into the backfield to Levine. A little bit low, but uh, that clambers off the sand. Nice little flow around the back at the moment. Just slowly matriculating the disc down the field. Badertha going to Nelson, goes to ground, but does secure the catch. Terrace thinks about that cut into the backfield, makes it, wants the swing. See how she squared the hips up there instead, goes back towards this near side. Nelson shooting deep. Can he find Levine? He can. Lovely first possession there for best before to take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, a lovely disc out of the palms of Cam Nelson. 
Shout out to uh, Candace Terrace, the number 26 for best before. She had some absolutely insane catches yesterday, sort of, you know, round the back trailing edge type affairs and lots of uh, bids to just make sure that possession is secured during that point. See that squeaky almost dad barbecue backhand that set up the play for Cam Nelson to shoot deep. And hopefully we can see best before with their shorter roster continue to play with that kind of dynamic flow for the rest of this match. Yeah, take advantage of, well, not necessarily take advantage, but try and lessen the impact of having fewer players by keeping the points short so you can keep legs fresh, constantly move the disc around to keep, theoretically, the defenders more tired than you are. Paul goes towards the back of the end zone. Gorman picks it off the sand. Underneath Prosser. Trying to uh, turn and isolate the reset instead. Slinging it to space. Here's the deep shot. That should be well weighted and well read. Carnell. Towards the far side. All that pops up. Maybe a second effort chance. Prosser cannot adjust. Game's first turnover. Yeah, after running that long disc down with all of the calmness in the world, Carnell just completely overshooting. BC going into the backfield. He's thinking about the big shot. We know that Demetera likes to put it. And when you can put it like that, why the heck not? Lamontagne with the score. And it's 2 0 to best before. Another extremely well-placed disc for best before. That one just sails over the pack and sits into the back. And just see that casual one released over the top. Great rundown attempt. Wendy Prosser there trying to get the secondary bid. But that one was just too much for asking. And then the Filipino Demetero. He's, uh, he's not shy of getting the, uh, of getting the big look out. And to be fair, you get why when he puts it on a frozen rope to Lamontagne. 2 0 to best before. Strong start to this game for the Canadians. Well, Lamontagne, no stranger to beach, has two spirit awards to his name at Paganello back in 2001 and 2004. Always nice to shout out fellow Paganello spirit winners, although. Uh you know what, Benji? I've just remembered. I'm also in that club. Yes, I. Yeah, I, you won. You were. You were the year before I was. Indeed. Both with our junior division spirit awards. Here's the deep shot towards the far side line. What a shot that is as well from Bombala. Saw the option in the end zone. No hesitation to pull the trigger, and it gets Kenneth Taylor to make it 2-1. Well, a nice little brush the dust off your shoulder there for Taylor. Off to the races he went. and He's been playing for 41 years as Kenneth Taylor, so a storied career, currently living between Geneva and Atlanta. Uh, inventor of the legendary, in Atlanta at least, tequila timeout, which is, I'll be honest, my kind of timeout. Yeah, we have all sorts of timeouts. Turnouts are uh, obviously often seen. The in-play timeout that causes things to go awry. What's the percentage completion on those? 69%, uh, I think. But a tequila timeout sounds like my kind of action. I feel that there are certain members of our crew who will probably be nodding their heads sagely, their heads sagely in the booth. I've seen their antics at Glasgow. Especially those who have been fond of our uh, cocktails on the sidelines this week. There's some margarita action that's been happening. Lamontagne down the far sideline. Raynham. Big pump fake across to Lamontagne. BZ with the visor. Doesn't like the first option. Going to try and hit the break side. No. Instead goes for the inside option. And then the flow into the end zone. It's Raynham to Delahanty. And I must say, best before, seem to have really found a groove in the past couple of games. Absolutely. They were so close in the all-Canadian showdown against Tragic Hips. That one going to Universe on the live stream yesterday. Universe after uh, Best Before were 9-6 down. Indeed, they had a storied comeback. 
But right now, they are just in charge of this game, really just finding that pace and that flow. And Benji, apart from the one turnover to give best before their break off that overpass from Carnal, it's been a clean game. It has indeed. So clearly Mountain Beach is also finding some excellent flow, having worked their way through this tournament. It's one of those things where sometimes it can just take a little bit of time to get everyone on the same page. You don't necessarily play beach as much as you play uh, outdoors or, or indoors during the winter, if you're certainly in some parts of the world. You know, you bring players from different communities together as well, so it can take a little bit of time to get everyone to dovetail perfectly. Oh, another pool landing out of bounds. I haven't been overwhelmed at the pools at this championship, Benji, considering we are in the great Grandmasters division. Well, if you pull it, if you if you pull it out and it gets bricked, you get a longer breather. That's true. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Ursh, that looks like a pick. Certainly is, and a loud call from the sideline, as well as some solid hand signal usage. Valdu on the sideline, making that clear with his hand signals, which I'd love to see. Underneath, past a couple of bidding Canadians, and there is another pick. Yeah, things perhaps starting to look a little bit messy. These, of course, semi-finals in front of us. This is channeling towards 13th place in this 16-strong division. Other side of this mini bracket is Flash and Pushing Daisies, who are playing on a different pitch. Yeah, that one's taking place behind us at the moment. Uh, in the backfield to Gorman. Gorman doesn't like the swing option. Instead, cramming it down the open side, going to her knees, but still securing it is Prosser. Prosser slinging the blade and slinging it bang on target. Finding Ursh to make it 2 3. Yeah, a nice option coming out of Wendy Prosser. Did you say it's almost like a slingshot to that back section of the end zone? And connecting with Stefan Ursch. Currently living in Thun, but from Bern originally. He's a facilities specialist by trade. And he uh, <laughs> says that he's everywhere on the field, like Forrest Gump. Yeah, Bern, of course, you think about the uh, the main programs there, Flying Angels of Bern, and fabulous, their, their women's side. But I think for the first time in history, not only are... Uh, are Bern not the best team in Switz are, are not the best team in Bern because Panthers Bern have now overtaken them. Panthers also won their first Swiss Open title earlier this year. A club on the rise By to the look way, out for. LGTV streamed the Swiss Open and Women's Championships earlier in the year and the Swiss Mixed Championships a few weeks ago as well. And if you'd like us to appear more at more tournaments to cover more games, you know what to do. You have to sign up as a patron. So we see the first turnover for best before in this game. It's just a chuck it in hope from Demetera. Yeah, it felt like a high stall option there. Mountain Beaches can bring us back on serve. Maybe with a tip and the second effort, rescued from the clutches of the sand by Goldsmith. Now past the bidding defender. Here's Thomas Stauffer. That one is very blady towards the far side, but all sorts of open is the receiver and that will be a mountain beaches break to get us back on serve i think that's goldsmith punching it into kenneth taylor to make it three apiece well way to respond high stall bails for demetera the pressure from the defense on mountain beaches was really great there and we are back on serve at three apiece nice tight game here on the final day of the World Great Grandmasters Speech Ultimate Club Championships. Huge save from Goldsmith before launching that big blady backhand around. Oh, I should take the back. The second save, even, from Stalfer. Yeah, you could see there as well that everyone kind of stopped to look at it to make sure, oh, is he going to get this? And when he did, it's like, oh, okay, let's play some more Frisbee. And there, the blade around the defence. 
Taylor's found himself in all sorts of space for his second goal. And Thomas Stauffer, the, perhaps the less famous of the two Stauffer brothers, of course, Laurent Stauffer, who's seven years younger, and he played with Bern also and three times with Condors from the US. But that's his sporting hero, says Thomas Stauffer, his little brother. So hi, Laurent, if you're listening. Yeah, was able to comment on the next members of this Stauffer clan at Joint Juniors uh, a, a couple of months ago in Wrocław, Poland. They just keep on coming. A Frisbee dynasty for the ages. Here's Levine. I think he's looking for the inside flick and he's got it as well. But Dertha gets in front of his defender and collects the grab for 4-3. Yeah, nothing too fancy there. That was just really patient, really quiet. Offense, on that last pass for the score, pretty much unguarded in terms of Badef. They're just emerging in the near space. The six-foot man from the justice system in Halifax. Most of these best-before players coming out of Nova Scotia. Ever been to Canada? I haven't had the pleasure yet, Benji. Me neither. It's somewhere that I would love to experience, and not just for all the you know the stereotypical things of you know maple syrup and poutine. Although that is very high on my list. Francois Levine clearly just getting a little bit of a, a breather on the sideline. And I'll be honest, the the beautiful soft golden sand of the Praia de Roche not a terrible place to do it. He's clearly Benji in a deep meditative state. Gonna make some sand angels maybe. <laughs> Well, Levine, an athlete with a long career. He's been playing ultimate for 25 years, but before that it was badminton and baseball. Here's Prosser. Open side option is Ursh. Oh, really speared that one in to Carnell, and it was too hot to handle. Dematera brings it in. La Montaigne a little bit low, not a problem for Delahanty. Low, Demetera with the layout snag. And now Demetera looking deep. And I think the uh, adrenaline got the better of him there. Yeah, some classic conservation of greatness as we get a bit of a doggo shot in the back there, a land shark on sand. What do we think, a uh, good doggo? Oh, best doggo, definitely. Uh, uh, can we do we have a way to track that in commentary source? Uh, dog account. Yeah. Mm. Metrics suggestions for Tom Styles clearly for the future. Of course, the creator of commentary source. I bet Felix is n is rapidly knotting together a dog's graphic in the booth. <laughs> so first point with turnovers from both sides. Ursh. Down the line. Young's looking for options. Doesn't see them. Instead goes back to Ursh. Ursh with a floater over the top. Yes, no. Well, I can tell you that Young was not the intended receiver, but good focus and good backup when he saw that disc was going to be a little bit swilly to get underneath it. Here's the upline option. That's got to go. It does go. Ursh wants to force it in. No. Couldn't connect with Young on that final pass. Well, the second turnover of Mountain Beaches comes once again from the hands of Stefan Ursch, getting a bit too hasty after he uh, lasered that first turnover as teammates face like he was mad at him. Delahanty finds Carbon. Delahanty goes for the reset now. Demetera. Raynham provides the underneath option. Now Raymond shooting to the back of the end zone. And Raynham finds Lamontagne as he collects his second goal. And that is another best before break. They've re-established that two-point cushion they had earlier in the game at 5-3. Well, Benji, we didn't see that many stats on the previous games necessarily for Manuel Montaigne. But he seems to be... Very much the favoured target for best before in the end zone. That, of course, the 
sloppiest point we've seen so far out of these two teams, which seem to have found the excellent flow and just passes, continuations, moving the this downfield nicely. Yeah, Love those shots from Demetera. Lamontagne was the joint leading goal scorer. And another two there puts him in the lead with six overall for the tournament. Also, I've been having a look at the spirit rankings. Mountain Beaches currently find themselves in uh, on 12 out of 20. Of course, it's scored for for each game, so a good a good position, but not as good as best before, who are currently the joint leaders with 12.67, which is something that you love to see. I'll tell you what, Benji. Not saying Canadians are nice or anything, but at the moment they are the top three spots, all Canadian sides in the spirit rankings here. Uh, that is a very good spot. That is a rip from Taylor in towards the end zone. I thought there was potentially going to be a call, but... No, Thomas Stauffer thinks better of it. I think it has a little bit of a chat, but that you can't deny that Cam Nelson had fantastic positioning and actually in order to get through to make a play on the disc Thomas Stafford probably would have had to foul Cam Nelson good help defense as now Levine puts it deep and getting the disc back at the other end making amends for that throw away is Kenneth Taylor yeah just swipes the arm up and knocks the disc away does well not to clatter his opponent but perhaps again a bit too hasty from Beach. That's best before even. That was bizarre. I must admit, I looked away for a second and uh, Mountain Beach has turned it over. So now back on best before's grasp with a chance to make a 6 3 lead. Levine fakes the break and then goes with it, Nelson. Wants to punch that in towards the front cone. Really good high grab made there by John Debian. 6-3. Rising from the sand, I tell you what. If Best Before can keep this one up, they're going to expire this game in very quick fashion. For Best Before, it seems that the best is yet to come. Yeah, we'll still have no idea as to what caused that turnover to give best before back possession. Perhaps it was a foul then, maybe, Benji. Maybe I was incorrect that Kenneth Taylor was able to stop his hands from swiping. I th Levine was the thrower, though, so I doubt it would have been the foul. It was just one that we'll have to watch back on the replay later. Again, another strong pull from Best Before that pins Mountain Beaches in their own end zone to begin the possession. Over the top, in towards the center, Zinka pops off to Johnson. Coming underneath, Baldu. Now Zinka. Zinka puts up a floater. The defender can't get there, but neither can the receiver. You could see the fr frantic backpedal and still couldn't quite come up with it. Yeah, an interesting option from Patrick Zinka. She say his teammate, I think that was Van der Bemden, trying to hustle backwards. Started his ultimate career a bit later in life. Started at 36, rather than most people who obviously start playing around sort of the ages of 18. La Montaigne. There's a break across the field. He's going to utilize the hammer to get it there. High release backhand, sending it on the wind to Beasy. I think he wants the deep option. Trying to get for the IO flick over the top, but it is brilliantly defended at the back of the end zone. Patrick Zinka, again, laying his body out to try and get the block. Players sat in the sand for a little bit. But I think maybe just to just to take a breath and take it all in more than anything. Yeah, after his error on the throw, Zinka getting it back. That's a bit of a trend in this game, Benji. Throwing a disc away and then immediately almost going and uh, taking the disc back, sort of erasing your own mistake, giving yourself level stats, equal turns and blocks.
Liking that poach in the lane from Beasy. Nice break across the field. Now trying to find it through the center to Johnson. Again, continuation. Oh, it's a little bit behind Estrano. He puts that left paw out, but it doesn't quite stick in. Another break opportunity for best before that would take us into a 7-3 halftime lead. Mark Beasy just trying to slow things down, make his teammates calm. Lamontagne. Going to need a reset rising. soon. Yeah, he's going to try and blade it across the field. BC's leaked behind the defense, and it's easy peasy for Marky Beasy. 7-3. I've been waiting to do that one for games, Hannah. Games. And I finally got an opportunity. I love that he recognized that the stall count was getting high. The defender may be looking at the disc, and he sees the opportunity to charge deep, see if the... Uh, the vision is on point there from Lamontagne. Knee spots it and blades it beautifully over the defence for the 7-3 half-time lead. Well, it's Benji, it might be finals day, but I think you've peaked in this game for your commentary. Easy peasy, Mark Beasy. We love it. We love it. The man in the dashing black and red visor. In fact, I think he even might have had some words with our uh, fellow Ulti TV crew here asking us to say nice things about him. Oh, in which case I retract that previous statement. Well, he gave us no fun facts about him, which is the sad thing, Benji. So we can't really say too much other than he's got a cool sounding name. Can we make them up? Oh, yeah. See, Oscar, our hardworking volunteer scorekeeper, played in the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships and just hung around to help out at the Great Grandmasters division. Coming out of Leipzig. Yeah, volunteers are the lifeblood of tournaments like this. And uh, yeah, anytime you see a volunteer, especially at the end of a tournament when they've had kind of long days, make sure you give them a give them a thank you, buy them a drink. Yep. Give them a hug if it's that there. That's their kind of thing. That one in the sand from Gorman, auspicious start to the second half for the Swiss. Underneath, slashing through his Debian, wanting to go towards the open side to Demetera. Defense was there to pick it off, but they give it right back to best before. Yeah, curiously swift turnovers for the Swiss. Easy. Oh, the poach recognized that one well. Sitting off the far handler Demetera into that lane and clogged it up and got the block. Now Ursh. Ursh, oh, pops that one too high. Carbon, easy collection for the interception. Now BC winning that high release over the top, drops it in the bread basket of Danny Demetera. That is now 8-3. Bear in mind, there was a point where this was three apiece. Best before, have raced out to a five point lead. Indeed, they are running away with this game. And it's nice to see them finally getting a win potentially here, Benji. We've seen them try and earn them on the sand in front of us. First time we're getting to see this Swiss side who are just a little bit hasty with the disc, Benji. They're playing some really smart defense. You saw there that block poaching through, sort of sitting in the open lane, but immediately just throwing it away, trying to connect with each other and just coming a little bit unstuck. And you can see that Ford looked a little bit fatigued there. It gave up that high release backhand. Well, there were five turnovers in that bit of a grinder of a point. Yeah, after a very clean first seven points where there were two turnovers total, in the past four points, we've had, quick maths here, 14 turnovers. Indeed, it's not been a case of best before punching in their opportunities as soon as they're given. Then they need two, two shots in order to punch those breaks in. Well, three for the last, but hopefully Bombala can steady the ship for this Mountain Beaches side. That one speared out by Goldsmith. Goldsmith, nice gainer downfield. Ackerman dishing back to Goldsmith. Quick break out here to Bombala. 
Back to Goldsmith. Really stretching the field laterally. Taylor comes underneath and finds an option in the open side. That is Thomas Stauffer. Mountain Beach is back on the board as they will now try and claw back some of those breaks. It's 8-4. That was much better, just that patient, calm, smooth swinging, nothing too fancy. It seems like when mountain beaches try and go over the top of the force, it's one of the areas where they have issues, but that was just really nice patient swinging around. See the attempt on the layout bid there as Thomas Stauffer absolutely rinsed Todd McCauley. Just beating him to that open side, straight, plain and simple. And it's almost like we planned this, Benji, those two flags together, the Canadians and the Swiss. Well, did we plan it? Who can say? I mean, I can. As far as I know, we didn't. But it's nice when... Uh, when these things work out. Yeah. Seems very serendipitous. Of course, those flags on the far side of the field showing us the wind direction and sort of, you know, the viciousness of the sea breeze at points out here on the sands. It's but something that you have to take into the equation at the moment, but it's nothing too fierce. Demetera pops up on all that is a floater. And BC gets there just before the defender Estrano closes. High release might require the bid. Bid is made and I think he lost it in the sand. Well, an opportunity, as you said, Benji, for Mountain Beaches to try and grind the break back. You see loads of sand kicked up there. And that high-release flick is a spicy, spicy option. And he got his hand on it, did the receiver, but just couldn't quite close those fingers in time. Yeah, a bit of an adventurous throw from Gus Montano. There is a call on the field, as you're seeing the attempted reception by Van den Bemden again. I was going to say, that doesn't sound like a Swiss name to me, uh, and that'd be because it's not. He's from, uh, he's from uh, Brussels. A very strange city, because they speak more English than any other languages, as you're just w wandering around the streets. That one, oh, the swing there from Raynham. Hits BC in the hand and bumps out. Another break opportunity for the Mountain Beaches. Yeah, a bad miss there for BZ. Making that look lemon, lem difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. <laughs> Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I like the reference. There's the inside flick from Estrano. Again, being adventurous and ambitious with the choice of shot, and Zinka can't get there. No, another turn out of the hand of Gus Estrano, but I did enjoy the little bit of gentlemanly action after this bid does very well not to clatter the defender underneath his body. I just had a little, like, just a little moment of, yep, yeah, okay, cool, let's play on. Probably technically a travel, but it's one of those that you'd never call because you've only travelled to take avoiding action. And with the point getting a little bit degraded, maybe, uh, opportunity for best before to call the timeout. I like that play. This one's turning into a bit of a long and grindy point. Two turnovers apiece. But I think, Benji, when you're actually moving out of the way of, of sort of avoiding contact, it's not actually a travel. Is it not? OK, I take my previous statement back. So you're allowed to do it. It's not an infraction. But... I'm sure, Benji, you and I will need to take a little brief break as the athletes on the field are the same. Yeah, maybe I'll need to uh, have a quick rules check up as well. We'll <laughs> see you on the other side of these short messages. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Built week. Totally.net. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed.
Hubble Skull Electric, become a member. Don't want to miss anything? There are loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on UltiCal, link in the description. World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Last day of action here today. Coming off the timeout, best before looking to extend their 8 4 lead over Mountain Beaches. Here's the deep shot. They're looking for BC again. He gets his hand to it but can only tip it round the corner. Quick pick up. Finding an underneath option. Inistrano continuing the flow towards the break side. A little bit of a pop up, the adjustment. Zinka couldn't reel it in. Yeah, we saw at the beginning of this match, Benji, I think more of a real close one between these two sides, but it seems to be in the midsections just littered with personal errors. Still rising, Lamontagne spearing it down the sideline. Bid comes in from BZ, but doesn't get there. Passing off the switch downfield. Demetera with the excellent recognition to get the poach block. Good ultimate IQ and athleticism on display there from Demetera. Here's underneath Delahanty. Joan Delahanty will survey her options. Doesn't like the dump on that occasion. Takes it a little bit towards the sideline. Demeter has taken off deep. The disc has gone with him as well. And a wonderful shot out of the hands of Daniel Raynham. Makes it 9-4, best before. Yeah, the double happiness there. Bookends for Demeter. Such a useful athlete for best before. Of course, having played for the ultimate team in the Philippines, UP Sunken Pleasure. And that was a very pleasurable bit of game to watch after that long, grindy point. There were eight turnovers just for that offensive hold for the Canadians. Best before, maybe closing in on their first victory of the week here. Obviously, Mountain Beaches. Game's not done for them just yet. No, don't don't count them out yet. See our hardworking volunteers on the sideline. But uh, Daniel Raynham getting his third assist of this game there. And coming out of Halifax. Doesn't have never played for any national teams, Benji. But a career since 1999, just before the millennium. Turn on the first pass for Mountain Beaches. Maybe sums up this game a little bit for them. They've had good passages, but also too many simple mistakes. And Hoffman with the easy punch into the end zone to Bodertha for 10-4. Yeah, it's perhaps Mountain Beaches didn't quite have enough breakfast this morning. They have some real flashes of excellence, but then just some really silly things that happen like that. I mean, you can see it's happened to the best of us, Benji, that kind of idea of perhaps thinking too much about what you're going to do next, about that throw that you're going to put out rather than just focusing on keeping the catch into the hands. Brent Young dropping the disc there. You'll see some elite throws and, and more and more of them are doing it now off of the inspiration of Cupcake, at the, the, of, who of course plays for the Australian well, games team, and as I believe playing at US Nationals. He was representing Atlanta's Chain Lightning. Yeah, Tom Tullett. That's the one. Couldn't quite get his, uh, his real name. His Frisbee nickname is so famous, but it's that he always watches the disc into his hands, especially when he's fielding the pull, and has a little look at it. That huge pull. That is outrageous. You basically cannot get it any more back corner than that.
so Mountain Beaches will have to try and deal with that extra little bit of pressure. Got to go 60 meters rather than just 45. So far they've worked it out of the end zone competently. But this is good match defense from Best Before. They're really pinning Mountain Beaches to this near side and just giving them little squeaky through passes. Yeah, they don't mind that, providing they can keep them on the sideline, but they get the break off. And now they're trying to initiate that break side flow. Taylor hopping into the middle for Thomas Stauffer. Stauffer towards the end zone, back to Taylor for 10-5. Yeah, lovely bit of give-go action there for Mountain Beaches. That has been one of the nicer things about their offense, when they can get those give-goes going and sort of, you know, move the disc quickly, pacing down the field. But, oh, my goodness, you said it's about as back corner it can get, Benji, and you are not wrong. That's a beautiful pull. Interestingly, I am rarely wrong. <laughs> it is a blessing and a curse. With great power comes great responsibility, said the guy who invented the rice, Uncle Ben. <laughs> it's the same person, right? Must be. Oh, absolutely. But this one could close out pretty quickly. We've got a, just about seven minutes of regulation time left, Benji. Yeah, so games are based first to 13 on the beach here. Oh, if we don't reach that score by the time the 45 minute time elapses, finish the point, add one to the highest score, and that's your new sto score cap. Stauffer and Carnell doing a little bit of posing for the camera. We love to see it. It's a pleasure to have covered every single team at this tournament now, Benji. Yes, I must say, I'm very glad that we've had the ability to do so. Jorg Hoffman, brilliant layout from Terrace on the far side. Is there anything that she can't catch? I'm not sure. Low, underneath, Nelson, zipping it through. McCauley takes the reset and now they're swinging it back again, maybe trying to use the brake side, no, redirecting the flow of traffic. Nelson, it looks Resetting the disc really solidly here are the Canadians best before Terrace. Wants the around, gets the around. McCauley watches it in continuation towards the end zone and Hoffman lays out to make sure he secures the snag. It's 11-5. <laughs> we can hear the uh, sideline for Best Before and how delighted they were at that play. Daniel Raynham said, hey, that's Mr. Hoffman again. And it was indeed York Hoffman grabbing that goal. Another big redemption grab from Candace Terrace. Having herself another great game here. And the elder statesman, Todd McCauley, senior team member on this Best Before Great Grandmaster's side with the assist, but Jörg Hoffman, one of the younger people, he already have mentioned several times how he ended up playing in Canada. Yeah, originally from Darmstadt in Germany. Indeed, and he's a data scientist by trade, so. I wonder if he'll be taking all these stats home to look at and analyze. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth there, Benji. Apologies, would you like them back? No, I'm good. You can keep them. They're a bit yucky now. Thanks, Anna. Appreciate that. <laughs> so just letting the pool drift towards the feet before getting it in play here, the Mountain Beaches. Wearing the idyllic blue jerseys. They are very nice. I'm not usually a fan of that level of pattern sublimation, but they actually work really beautifully. And it the contrast on these teeny tiny calligraphy numbers isn't as bad as you'd expect. I mean, it's not as also not as, not as clear as I would like, but I feel like Vegas probably shouldn't be choosers. Trying to feather that one across, and the edge just took it away. Brent Young couldn't quite get that shake back into Prosser there. Yeah, another squandered opportunity for Mountain Beach as they're getting a bit of end zone eyes. So the first pass goes underneath there from Raynham. Carbin back, high release, just too far for Delahanty. 
you can see what the option is. Trying to just pop that one up there. So Mountain Beach is with another opportunity here. Happy to take the reset. Doesn't matter if you lose, lose yards, as long as you can keep that disc alive. Keep the stall count ticking over. Prosser, I think, one of the little feed through. Back to the open side for Ursh. Ursh, can you see the option over the top? No, still rising a little bit behind. Brilliant reactions there from Pulston. It's cat-like reflexes. I like that. And not just because I'm a feline fan. Meow. It's just a brief stoppage, and perhaps a bit of contact behind. But that was a great grab from Cedric Poulston, hailing from Davis, California at the moment. Has questionable cardiovascular fitness, but clearly knows how to catch, but doesn't know how to throw to his teammate, and that's another short turnover for Mountain Beaches. Yeah, you saw him tap, tap his chest there, my bad. Let's go out back there and earn the D. Raynham to Carbon, back to Raynham. Again, rolling his wrist around it, trying to lead into the end zone, but they're still not quite there. Lamontagne has a one on one. Can he hit it? They've got a defender now trying to poach in that space a little bit. Still rising, the high release down the line doesn't connect. Very good red zone stand there from the Mountain Beaches. Yeah, I think that was Demetera on the one on one. Perhaps a. Uh Miscommunication there, unsure who's going to be initiating that play. The offense were quite static. Perhaps looking for the hander to throw something creative, but tight match marking. See players for man down in Young Legends getting ready for their game, their semi final. That's up next as that disc is intercepted by Lamontagne. Demetera back to Lamontagne. Here's Raynham faking the flick. Now going with the backhand, Demetera again. Really wants to zing this one through. Oh, it's tipped. Second opportunity, maybe. Not quite. It's pilfered away at the second time of asking by the Mountain Beaches defence. But in their haste to get it out of the end zone, they cannot connect. I think that's the whistle for time. So we'll finish the point, add one to the high score, and that'll be the cap. Well, I believe it's 11-5, Benji. Concur with our scorekeeping volunteers and get you a check on that one. Another end zone shot goes all right. That time, Ray names the target. Mountain Beaches will stride to the front of the end zone here. Wanting the break backhand here, Pulston. Prosser finds an option through the middle. It's back in the hands of Pulston. You can tell Goldsmith is begging someone to stretch the field. Pulston's the option. Can he catch up to this? Oh, baby, he can. Pulston with his first goal of the game makes it 6-11, and we will have a game to 12. Well, lovely to see Mountain Beach is able to expand out the weighting on that disc that Paulston run, ran down was absolutely picture perfect. Yeah, Paulston says his career highlight is being able to take the field with living legends, sometimes playing with them and sometimes against them. And also says no one wants to see him try and cover Bo or Alex Nord again, which <laughs> I mean, Bo and Alex Nord might do, to be fair. Uh, Sporting Hero says that in 2019, he was able to help reform a team founded by his good friend for one last round of nationals before he died of cancer this year. Bobby Wurzberger was a legend, champion and mentor. So shout out to him. And rest in peace, Bobby. Of course, we do have some players amongst us on the pitches who have overcome 
many adversities, but cancer survivors are in a relatively high number, which is fantastic to see, of course, more and more people surviving as we find more ways to recognize and treat. And of course, there is that wonderful program, ERIC, which is early recognition is critical. So you want to learn more about the work that they do to help people recognize when they have the early symptoms of cancer, do look them up. But that's a great block and opportunity for Mountain Beaches here. Naveen just throws that into the waiting Estrano and Estrano pounces, finding Baldur down the line, 7-11. I think it might be a little bit too little too late for Mountain Beaches, but that was a feisty bit of defense. So still one point needed for a first victory of the weekend for Best Before. Mountain Beach is trying their utmost to make sure that doesn't happen, extending the agony for them maybe a little bit here. You see the little cuddle there. Between the Mountain Beach's teammates. And first game point for the Canadians. Oh, but can't be brought in by Raynham. A bridge too far, perhaps. So again, Mountain Beaches get an opportunity to keep powering this comeback. Goldsmith goes off to Stauffer. Stauffer back to Bombala, calling for a tight vertical in the end zone. Maybe a bit of a bump on the mark, but still continuing. Good to go, Goldsmith. Across the end zone. And it just wouldn't sit in Bombala's hands. Well, I tell you what, best before got very lucky there. That should have been a goal, I'd say. Just a little bit too much juice on it. Throw is a bit behind, but Demetera makes the catch anyway. He's got a reset, but instead wants to be aggressive going downfield. Carbin leads BC into the end zone. He fakes the deep shot. Carbin now clears through. But still, BC wants the reset. Going back to Raynham, showing the break side. Just moving the disc around. Trying to change those angles. Leads Carbon into space. BC goes up line, goes to the floor. Keeps it alive. A few yards away from the first victory of the weekend. The braid down the line. Doesn't connect with Demetera. Not to throw really any shade because obviously this is a loose mixed division Benji but if uh, Mountain Beaches don't score the break here this is another team that's chosen to put five male matching players out for their game point I wonder if they want I'll start that thought again I wonder if that's the faith shown in the male matching players or just uh, trying to keep the strong female matching players off Mountain Beaches off the line. It's back to the old days of tactical mixed ultimate, Benji. We used to have before the ABBA ratio A rule got introduced at the elite mixed division level. But of course, this format is loose mixed. Stauffer going backwards. Here's the downfield gainer. The engine of Kenneth Taylor keeps on chugging. Again, aggressive break taken on Bombala. Underneath, and the layout comes up inches short there from Rene Ackerman. Carbin gets the break out quickly to Lamontagne. Lamontagne ripping it across the end zone and into the end zone for the score as well to Raynham. Best before have their first win of the week. 12-7 final score. Yeah, a fantastic way to finish it off. And who else but Dan Raynham in the back corner of the end zone, reeling that one in. 
Said he wanted to start to play Ultimate so that he could meet new people. I'm sure he's made many pals amongst this wonderful Ultimate community and smiles all around, even for Mountain Beaches, who are yet to secure themselves a win. But they'll have one more game to do it, that 15th place spoon. And it will be against the loser of Flash Pushing Daisies, which I don't think we've had a score update on yet, Benji. I have not seen one. But we'll keep an eye on all the scores and give you an update as they come in, which by this point might be our next game, which is a semi-final matchup. On one side of the bracket, we have Hurt versus Marika, but we are going to be streaming Young Legends versus Man Down. And thoroughly looking forward to seeing you joining us again for that one. Indeed. Well, I can confirm that Pushing Daisies actually surmounted a universe point finish. They be beat out eight seven over Flash, so they will be seeing Flash in the Spoon Final. Will Mountain Beaches and Best Before will be playing against their fellow Canadians. That's going to sting for Flash, having lost back-to-back -back games on Universe in the 9-16 bracket. So just try and find that mental resilience to get that first win of the weekend on the board. There's the uh, game stats for you, Best Before. Just a little bit cleaner all around. Both have the same number of clean holds, both having the same number of clean breaks, but generally best before just telling it over a little less and being more efficient on the break opportunities. Indeed, we love these game stats, really showing the shape of these ones. But really, it was best before in charge so early on in the game, going on those big unanswered runs. We said it on the first stream game. The best was yet to come, and they do indeed finally snag their first win here at the Great Grandmasters World Beach Ultimate Club Championships. So there you can see us in the booth, Benji Reese and Hannah Pendlebury, and you can also get a cheeky shot of Luna editing behind our laptop in the background. So there's the real star of the show. That's Thank true. People, people say we're doing a good job, but actually I have to hand it hand my hat off to all of our production team here who've been so fantastic, tirelessly working underneath the elements, Benji. Yeah, as well as all the live streams, putting out the little extra content as well, which I must admit I have thoroughly enjoyed watching and I appreciate that I am paid to say that a little bit, but I genuinely have been enjoying it. Thank you very much for watching our continued coverage of the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Next game in 35 minutes time is a semi-final between Man Down and Young Legends for all of our Ulti TV crew and for Hannah Pendlebury, Benji Reese saying we'll see you on the other side. He's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of the energy they needed.
The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll be back to you. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Don't want to miss anything? There are loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on UltiCal, link in the description. TV.